My name is Jen Gommerman and I'm a professor in the Department of Immunology at the University of Toronto. I have been studying a family of molecules called the TNF superfamily, but became very interested in how immune cells position themselves relative to each other within lymphoid tissue. But more recently, uh, we've become very interested in how those same immune cells position themselves within other tissues uh, where we'd not normally find immune cells, in particular the brain. And we're quite interested in a disease called multiple sclerosis and where immune cells localize within the brain during MS. Whereas in the initial phases of the disease, the immune cells are outside of the brain and they come in sometimes and cause damage, as the disease progresses, we know that that's no longer the case. And so the conventional drugs don't really work. However, what we and others have shown is that immune cells can remain in the brain in this later phase of the disease. And so if we could understand what they were doing there and how that affects um, parts of the brain, such as the cortex, then we would have a better understanding of the mechanism of this disease. What we really need to do now is look at upwards of 20 or 30 different markers at a time including markers of uh, pathological disease of the brain to understand what those immune cells are doing, whether it's something bad or something good, and to correlate that with underlying tissue damage. And really the only way to do this is to use an approach like IMC, where we get the depth of analysis of all of these different markers, but we retain the tissue architecture. We know where these cells are with respect to where the damage in the brain is occurring. We've chosen to use the Hyperion system and had some initial success already. When you get the context of the tissue, you know whether that cell is close to some kind of tissue damage or some kind of tissue pathology, or maybe it's way off to the side and maybe not even relevant. And so using imaging mass cytometry, we're going to get those types of answers. That's gonna be incredibly helpful in my field in multiple sclerosis, but also in tumor immunology and other related fields. But some things that I can think of that might be really useful is if we use this technique and uncover novel um, cell types associated with the disease, that might ultimately translate into biomarkers. If we could develop biomarkers uh, that predict whether a patient will respond to a therapy, then we can design trials better and we can meet the needs of those patients better. So in the future, IMC is one piece of the pathway that may get us to those biomarkers and getting us to uh, better treatments and better trial design.